Hey, I got three quick tips I want to share with you uh, for genealogy records. This kind of stemmed from a uh, genealogy TV Academy uh, class that I did the other day. And uh, I wanted to share a couple things that I found while doing that class. And so I'm going to share that. But real quick, I'm going to create a thumbnail. There we go. Okay, so... <laughs> Anyway, I'm just being silly. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop over to First Ancestry, and I found this really cool record collection while I was over there. I'm going to pull this up full so you can see it. And this is from the AP. This is an unindexed record set. And so what's really cool about it is, is there, I mean, here, I'll show you. If we go over to the card catalog search, drop down to card catalog, and just type in AP World. This is a magazine that was started in 1943, at least what's on here is in 1943. And while this record collection says 1943, it actually goes all the way to 2011, not 2001. So uh, I popped over here, so let's just jump over here and show you what's in here. Because this is kind of a fun little record set that... I think everybody may have forgotten about. And so here it is, it's unindexed, but if you look over in the browse uh, this collection section, you can see different years over here. Let me again, pull this up full so you might be able to see that a little bit better. But uh, this is 1943 to 1954, 1955 to 1967, and so on. It goes all the way down to 2011. So if we open up this first one, that is what we're looking at over here. And this has got images and stories and people and names. These could be your ancestors from, you know, the World War II era. So what you have to do is you kind of have to use this film strip at the bottom. If you don't know how to get to that, use, I'm going to close that. Hit the little film strip icon, it pops up. And you can see and move around and zoom in. You can see that this is 1944, February of 1944. And we can read this like a magazine, but what is so interesting about this record set are there are stories about people, could be your ancestors. And there's just so much in here that if you wanted to, you know, jump around, you might be able to find out what is going on in the area or in the world at the time your ancestors were living, or maybe even you. <laughs> uh, this one's March, 1944. So I reached out to Ancestry and I said, hey, I tripped across this record set. I completely forgot about it. And I said, this is not indexed. And you can tell because the little people icon here is grayed out. There's no way to click on an index because it's not indexed. But boy, there are names in here. This would be perfect for the AI technology or the optical character recognition technology that Ancestry now has. And so I reached out to uh, someone at Ancestry and I said, hey, this is really a great uh, opportunity here that we could find some pictures of our ancestors in this collection if it were indexed. And so I think uh, that has gotten forwarded. Hopefully we'll pray that this uh, happens because there's just an incredible amount of really great uh, information in these records. Look at this. This is May 1944, and uh, sometimes I've read some of the stories in here about the AP journalists and what they're doing to cover uh, the war effort and stuff during World War II. There's just a ton of pictures. It's really, really um, fun reading, and you can just kind of cruise through and see what's going on. And so, anyway... Uh, you know, you can use that hop, skip, and a jump method that I teach uh, about how to how to jump around and find uh, your records in any uh, unindexed record. So that's AP World. Uh, that is 1943. It's actually to 2011. And so that's uh, one tip. And, you know, and if you really want to figure out what's going on, let's say your ancestor... Uh, you you know, you want to find out what was going on toward the end of the war. You can skip ahead and uh, 
and find, you have to kind of find the, the front matter because some of these early ones don't have a date at the bottom. So you have to find the magazine cover to figure out what the date is. There's August, September, 1944. And uh, yeah, some, some really cool stuff in this little collection from uh, the Associated Press. And so I think I just, I just fell in love with this little collection, thought it was so cool. So I wanted to share that. The other thing I wanted to share with you is if you have uh, maybe come across a record like this, and let me zoom in so you can actually see it. And you see this FHL number. If you're not familiar with FHL numbers, that's the Family History Library film number. And here I have a record where there is no image, but there's an FHL number. So what you can do is jump over to Family Search, which is where the Family History Library reference number is going to. Make sure you're logged in. Go to Search. Go to, uh, nope, Siri, search records, not the card catalog, and then hit more options. And then here it says, uh, let me see if I can zoom in so you can see that really well. Where'd it go? There it is. Image group number. And then you type in that record number. So here I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over here and control C to copy that from Ancestry. Go over to Family Search and plug that in and hit Search. And now I'm going to back out so it's not quite so big. And we can search. In this case, I was looking for John Simmons. So then I can search his name now that we're in the right role. And go Simmons. And hit Search. And there he is. I happen to know that because I've already been here once. But uh, yep. Yeah. There's John Simmons, and he's in the right place at the right time. This says that he's in the world collaborative tree over there at Family Search. You know, it's one big world tree. This says that there's an image attached to it and that there's uh, indexing details. We can click on that and see that there is more indexing details. Now, in this case, the image is taking us off site. It's taking us over to West Virginia uh, culture.org, which is the West Virginia State Archives website. I'm not going to go there right now, but I'm just telling you that you can pop over there and take a look at the original record. So that's pretty cool. If you find that FHL number, make sure that you go over to Family History Library and look for it because a lot of times it's actually right there at the Family History Library uh, website on Family Search. And so uh, in that particular situation, it's taking us to the State Archives. But uh, most of the time, it's right there at Family Search. So uh, that is all I have for you today. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe so you get more details like this one. All right, we'll see you. Bye.